in this video we'll discuss about elisa what is the full form of elisa enzyme linked immunosorbent assay it also known as enzyme immunoassay eia why it is known as enzyme linked immunosorbent assay because of two reason what is enzyme enzyme is a thing which convert substrate into product the tail of antibodies will apply substrate so the substrate labeled antibody it will converted substrate into product the product is always colored product visibility is good why it is known as immunosorbent we apply elisa on a plate you have seen this plate this is known as elisa plate it having 96 well uh, you can this uh, is a well okay this one is the well inside which we take the samples of the patient okay this one is the separate well this one is the separate well here we will apply patient sample to see whether it is positive or negative now it is a property that all the well coated with material that material name is called as immunosorbent the separate well it coated with the material that material name is called as immunosorbent so the well coated by material immunosorbent immuno means antigen or antibody sorbent means absorptions what is the meaning of absorptions put antigen on it put antigen on it so antigen will stick here this is the antigen it will absorb it if we wash it it will not go because it is absorbed if we put antibody here it also absorbed so such material on which here the antigen or antibody both are absorbed on washing they do not go such material is known as immunosorbent sorbent material sorbent for antigen and antibody one plate we have multiple well one plate only we have multiple well so we can apply multiple patient sample in one shot we can apply all the patient sample in a single group all the well are coated with immunosorbent material elisa positive or negative it is seen by color change if color change this elisa is positive not color changes means elisa is negative but it depends on elisa to elisa three different type of elisa taking example of aids just this, uh, there is a patient we will collected blood samples of that patient in a test tube in this test tube uh, there is a blood samples there are two way to confirm it either the test the antigen that is virus hiv virus inside that if it is positive it is confirmed that that patient having infection or else second way will test that antibody against that hiv in that patient against hiv anti hiv antibodies if antibodies are also present then it is also proven that the patient is having infection so if you want to prove this patient having any particular infection not only aids any infection if we want to prove it with any elisa there are two way either to prove the particular antigen 
presented in blood samples or to prove the particular antibody presented in blood samples. So we are basically having various type of ELISA. Uh, three method, three types, sandwich ELISA, indirect ELISA and competitive ELISA. By using sandwich ELISA, we detect antigen in the sample of that patient. Our choice, now we will take well, well or coated by immunosorbent material. What we want to detect, we want to detect antigen patient, antigens in patient blood. So, it is the rules that all the ELISA we started with opposite. Here we want to detect antigen. So started with antibody. Indirect and competitive method we want to detect antibody. So here also opposite we started with antigen. So this two method colorful end end of the section colorful product means positive here colorless only positive colorful means negative result. So we will discuss one by one. All the ELISA having four steps. In the first step we started with opposite. If you want to detect antigen. The well coat with antibody. If you want to detect antibody, coat with antigen. So particular antigen and antibody for that it is available in the market. So you start the coating the well. Second step, add the sample of that patient. Patient samples either containing antigen or antibody that will react with this if it is positive third steps put here antibody coated uh, with the enzyme that that means enzyme linked antibody fourth step is always added with the substrate substrate will converted into product color change will be there so, these are the four standard steps. So, first we will discuss about sandwich ELISA. Imagine this one is the well. Okay, here sample here we want to test antigen. So, started with antibody. Antibody of HIV available in market. Don't take patient samples available in market. So apply anti-HIV antibody in the well. If you suspect a rotavirus, you will apply that for that antibody. If you suspecting something else, you apply the antibody for that. So whatever we are suspecting, apply that particular antibody in the well. It is immunosorbent coated. So, this antibody will not go, go in washing. So, second step, put patient samples. If patient positive, so that antigen is presented. So, that antigen will bind with antibody. It will bind with antibody because antigenous presentation is actually positive then third step add enzyme linked antibody enzyme linked antibody this purple color one then after that we will add substrate see the antigen is center red color antigen is center both side antibodies is presented look like sandwich so uh, here these antibodies cannot go in washing they will stand here only this one coated this one purchased from outside this one 
antigen patient sample this one immunosorbent antibody when we are adding substrate it change that color suppose that patient uh, is negative means here binding binding is not occur so here antibody coated here we will add patient sample that patient don't have that antigen means not binding to this particular antibody after washing automatically it remove so when we are adding immunosorbent assay also not binding this one is the negative sandwich negative method but this one only binding process will occur every step we want to do washing so here it will bind with antigen then immunosorbent assay it look like a tree only two antibody in, in between antigen is presented two bread slice in between that masala is presented it look like a sandwich so this method have that name sandwich ELISA positive result means binding will occur negative means here after washing here not binding process will occur after washing it will remove so sandwich method notes format well micro titer plate coated with a specific antibody then we will add patient serum samples then antigen presented means binding will occur after that we will add enzyme linked antibodies then we will add substrate binding indicate positive the color change indicate positive otherwise negative second method is indirect method uh, indirect method here we want to detect antibodies so we started with antigen that plate uh, coated with antigen antigen then we will add patient serum in the uh, coated well again you will take antibody uh, this one is the important steps in this time antibody against antibody against antibody anti antibody actually the antigen uh, green color antibody then purple color one more antibody because the previous antibody presented in green which is the patient sample the green color antibody is the patient sample the purple color one this one is the external green one is the patient samples because the patient sample is positive uh, so the green antibody is present that's why the purple will remain there it will not go in washing so all will form bond above each other so here this one is the immunosorbent material then antigen uh, will stick here then green color antibody then purple color antibody all are forming tree one over the other nothing will go in washing so this stuff then finally we will add substrate so it will producing color color change will takes place because here substance will converted into product because for converting enzyme is presented because the enzyme linked antibody is present so here positive negative sample exists indirect alexa here this antigen purchased from outside then we are adding patient samples that patient don't have that antibody hiv antibody so du during washing it will go away so here after we will add that uh, enzyme linked antibody also not binding so it washing time it go away so this one is the negative result so indirect method uh, here we want to detect antibody so antigen we are applying then patient serum then um, 
here binding will occur patient sample positive means antigen antibody binding will occur after that we are adding enzyme linked that antibody after that we will add substrate after that it producing color change color change positive otherwise negative if you want to measure the intensity we can use spectrophotometer of that antibody load color change will take place because here substrate will converted into product because for converting enzyme is present because the enzyme linked antibody is present color change positive third ELISA competitive ELISA antibody detection so uh, started with antigen here third step only different first second fourth step similar third one only different so well well of micro tighter plate are coated with antigen then we will add patient serum samples if antibody is presented in specimen means here antigen antibody reaction will occur binding process will occur but third step only different here we will add that enzyme linked antibody added means this antibody are against the antigens antigen already this antigen already occupied by the antigen uh, this antigen already occupied by antibody presented in the patient samples this antibody green color one patient samples so no free antigen no free antigen uh, so because the antigen is already occupied by the patient samples antibody so this purple this one this purple antibody cannot bind with antigen they will go in washing for first time it is happening in the positive samples so it will uh, give no color change uh, so here it will uh, opposite no color change means positive color change means uh, uh, negative result no color change only positive result otherwise negative result so negative result diagram for a competitive ELISA result negative result example here this one that uh, well coated with antigen here we will add patient serum samples here that patient not affected from HIV so no antigen antibody reaction during washing it go away then third step when we are adding enzyme linked antibody it will bind with that antigen so here color changes will happen color change means negative no color change only positive so competitive ELISA well of micro tighter plate are coated with the antigen then sera to be tested added in this coated well if antibody presented means binding will happen when we are adding enzyme linked antibody already all the antibodies occupied that antigen no free antigen so uh, during washing this enzyme linked antibodies will go away so no color change no color change means positive so here competition occur between two antibodies for same antigen so competition occur between two antibodies for same antigen in serum to be tested in negative for antibodies antigen uh, there is to combined with the enzyme conjugated antibody so it producing color this one is the negative result then here we are using enzyme under substrate what are the enzyme what are the substrate we are using for ELISA technique uh, here uh, that enzyme horse radis horse radis peroxidase if we are using means here substrate we are using o phenyl o phenyl diamine 
dihydrochloride is the substrate suppose enzyme we are using alkaline phosphatase means that substrate phi nitrophenyl phosphate hartz radis peroxidase means o phenyl diamine dihydrochloride substrate enzyme alkaline phosphatase means p nitrophenyl phosphate is the substrate next one is uses of uh, that elisa reduction of hiv antibody mycobacterial antibody rotavirus hepatitis b marker then uh, enterotoxin e coli in feces So this Alexa technique used for antigen as well as antibody reduction we can use. Reduction of HIV antibody, mycobacterial antibody, rotavirus, hepatitis B marker, enterotoxin of E. coli. Enzyme hearts radis peroxidase, alkaline phosphatase. Thanks for watching.